Hey guys! So this week I had planned on something and then I decided not to and then I planned on something else and then I was like nah. So I kind of went back to my original topic which was basically Taylor Swift. Now I'm not going to review the new album 1989 because I'm sure that's been done enough on the internet but I mean I love quizzes so I'm going to take two Taylor Swift quizzes. And I'm basically going to talk about 1989 all day, so get ready for that. The first quiz I'm going to take is the Which Taylor Swift Album Are You quiz. Now, I've taken this before and I've gotten an answer, but I want to see if, you know, two weeks later my answer would have changed. So the first question is pick a cat. Um, I'm going to pick the cute one with the big eyes because it's cute. Second question is pick a color. I mean, I'm picking purple. Duh. Pick a city. New York, London, Nashville, LA, Paris, or Tokyo. I'm gonna choose London because it's great. Pick a bestie. Ooh. Selena Gomez, Ed Sheeran, Lena Dunham, Emma Stone, Lord, or Carly Kloss? I'm gonna pick Emma Stone because she's great. Pick a baked good. Now, fun fact. If you follow Taylor Swift's Instagram, you recognize all six of these pictures because they're all things that she baked and posted on Instagram. And not gonna lie, I'm gonna choose the apple pie because apple pie is delicious. Pick a forest. Fun fact, these are also all pictures from Taylor Swift's Instagram. Way to be original. I'm gonna pick the last one from the Red Album because it's cool. Pick an emoji. Um... I'm gonna go for the party because that's cool. Pick a hairstyle. These are all Taylor Swift hairstyles but I mean everyone has their favorite Taylor Swift hairstyle don't they? I do. It's definitely not the bangs. So I got fearless. You're incredibly driven. You know what you want and how you're gonna get it. You've suffered some setbacks but nothing too serious. The world is yours for the taking. You just have to be brave enough to go out there and grab it. So this is called the Which Taylor Swift 1989 song are you? What's your favorite sport? Um, swimming, cheerleading, volleyball, baseball, track and field, or none. Um, volleyball most definitely. Pick a color, still picking purple. Which place appeals to you the most for a first date? My house or their house? Doesn't matter as long as I'm comfortable. A picnic at the park, a restaurant, at the zoo, or a movie theater. I'm gonna pick at the zoo because movies, you can't really get to know someone. A house is kind of personal. Um, a restaurant's kind of fancy. I mean, picnics are cool, but also grass and ants. So I'm gonna go to the zoo because it's great. What's your best personality trait? So the options are emotionally strong, friendly, self-aware, Proud of everything I do, passionate and unapologetic. Um, honestly, I'm stuck between passionate and unapologetic because I am very much so both. But I would say that passionate is possibly a better trait. Choose a celebrity: Rihanna, Tom Hiddleston, Natasha Lyonne um, from *Orange Is the New Black*, Gaga, Shakira, or Miley. I'm gonna go for Natasha because I might have a little crush on Nicki. Possibly. Which song are you most likely to dance to? So What from Pink, Can't Hold Us from Macklemore and Ryan Lewis, Promiscuous Girl from Nelly Furtado, I Will Always Love You from Whitney, One Way or Another by Blondie, or Crimea River from Justin Timberlake. Um, dance? Let's go with Macklemore and Ryan Lewis because that's definitely a dancing song. Okay, choose a book. Wow, okay, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, How to Be Popular by Meg Cabot, Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling, Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, Seriously I'm Kidding by Ellen DeGeneres, or Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. Uh, I'm gonna go for Tiffios because out of all of these, it's the only one I've read. And I love John Green. Sorry about it. Pick an app. Flappy Bird, Snapchat, Tinder, Kick, Subway Surfers, and Instagram. Well, I've had four of those. One I don't know what it is, and the other one I hear about all the time, but haven't indulged in. So I'm gonna go, f ooh, actually, Snapchat or Instagram. 
I'm gonna go for insert. Are you looking for a significant other right now? Yes, I've already got one. It's complicated. I'm up for it if the opportunity arises. I'm not really looking for one at the moment. I'm more into casual hookups rather than a relationship. Just gonna go ahead and choose that answer. What's your favorite TV show? Oh, oh. Gossip Girl, Veronica Mars, The OC, Parks and Rec, Dawson's Creek, or Grey's Anatomy. I don't watch four of those. One of those is older than I am, and one of those is the best show ever out of all of these, so I'm going to choose Veronica Mars. Okay, that's an interesting one. You got out of the woods. You're all about being passionate in what you do. You're prepared to fight for what you really want and always have hope to get out of a tough situation with your head up high. That's why out of the woods gets you right in the so-called fields because it reassures you that everything could be all right in the end, no matter what you're going through right now. To be fair, that description of why this song matches me right now is creepily accurate because life is tough. But also, yeah, and that song is basically like, you're going to get through it. Now, I've heard a lot of bashing for that song because the chorus is slightly repetitive, heavily repetitive, but at the same time, it's not a horrible song. So I'm just going to go ahead and accept that answer and be happy with it because Taylor Swift, duh. So now that that's happened, I am going to link both of those quizzes in the box of description down there so you can take it or tell your friends to take it or completely ignore it which I'm sure most of you do anyway but that's fun because I had fun and I hope you had fun and that's really the point of this isn't it I hope you guys enjoyed that and I will see you next week with another Friday video bye